Johan Johansson. Uh, the score for a film like Sicario is so essential in creating tension. So as a composer, where do you start when you want to create tension in a film? Um, well, uh, uh, I think um, and 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 the the feel of the of the of the film and the, the mood of the of the uh, of the movie and. Uh, uh, I read the script very, very early on before they started shooting, and and we talked about music already uh, before uh, before Denny shot the film, and and I, I also went on location. I went to uh, to the uh, to New Mexico where the, where they were shooting the film, uh, and sort of visited the sets and the locations uh, to kind of absorb the the atmosphere a little bit, and uh, and uh, so it. But I didn't I didn't write any music until I got like the first cut of the film, um, uh, which was like a long kind of rough cut. And, uh, uh, and I think uh, the first scene that I, that I, that I scored was is this long uh, helicopter shot uh, of this convoy uh, driving into, into Juarez. And, and, um, and I wrote this theme, which is uh, this sort of uh, slowly, very slow percussive, piece that sort of slowly crescendos and, and sort of grows and grows and grows into this very violent, distorted kind of uh, uh, assault, really, you know, and it's, it's with this sort of repetitive baseline, descending yeah. glissando baseline, and, and, um, and it builds and builds with the sound of the helicopter uh, blades as well, and it's sort of almost, almost, it's almost like the helicopter is an instrument in the, in the, in the piece, and, and, uh, and that really set the tone, I think, for the for the rest of the score. You know that that you know we would be working with low instruments, like low strings, low brass, low woodwinds, and the lower end of the frequency spectrum very much. And 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 to work with percussion as well. And it kind of felt like percussion would be a very important element in the score. And I think a lot of it comes comes from there. And I I hadn't really. You know, I haven't really scored a lot of action before that. This was really the first, uh, you know, film with with a number of action scenes that I that I that I that I, that I scored. And and even though we, we did, this is the second film I've I've I, uh, I've done with Denny. We did Prisoners before that, and that is a film that has a lot of tension as well. A lot of, uh, a lot of this kind of kind of, uh, yeah, sort of brooding tension but but there's no percussion in that film for example and in that score mm -hmm. uh, so it's another approach it's it's, it's a completely different approach mm -hmm. well the thing that really uh struck me about it was uh, the sort of sparseness about it which uh is kind of unique in a lot of you know action films uh can you talk a bit about that or... yeah it's uh, i i, I, I I was really, you know, I, I really like this kind of, you know, relentless minimalism in, in some ways, where you, you just have this sort of relentless uh, throbbing, you know, and uh, this sort of relentless throbbing pulse that that kind of runs as a thread throughout the film and and becomes like a motif almost. And we we talked about this uh, a lot uh, in in you know before the shoot and during the shoot is that, you know, this idea of, of it being almost like a war movie, you know, uh, and having elements of a war film. And, and, and uh, we talked about creating the subtle war music, which is maybe a contradiction in terms, but, but, but that's, that's, that's really something that I, I was trying to do. I was trying to create a war, uh, uh, war music that, uh, you know, a war film score that, that, that has, you know, uh, yeah, avoids conventions in some way, and and uh, and uh, has this sort of relentless uh, um, obsessive quality. Almost, it's this sort of obsessive, uh, obsessive, relentless uh, throbbing pulse that that kind of 
like the like a heartbeat that runs through the film and 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 that that sort of almost like the heartbeat of a, of this beast that's charging at you you know relentlessly and and uh, um so so yeah the, i think that was always always the, the idea to to have this kind of uh, uh relentlessly minimal approach to 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 doing action action music and 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 uh and um creating this this tension through fairly simple uh and effective means you know mm -hmm. well it works so well as almost like a an additional character in the movie you know so often there's scenes with no dialogue and it's only the score that's really underscoring uh <laughs> score underscoring things um can you talk a bit about that <laughs> about sorry about, uh, about it being a well, uh, sort of like you know yeah the music as a character in the film you know and uh sort of speaking when the characters do not yeah yeah well i i like that i i i you know i think i think music shouldn't you you shouldn't say with music, what's already there on the screen, you know, you don't, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to underline or, or, or repeat what's already being said on screen with music, you know, and so the so music ideally should add something. It should, it should uh, bring another dimension to the, to the scene or, 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 or to the, to, to the film and it should, should amplify it. And, 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 and ideally, I mean, it, it should, yeah, it, it should, it should, be like a character in the film, and 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 when when that when that happens, it's it's a great it's it's a great thing. And I, I personally love films that have this kind of uh, uh, this element, where the where the music kind of is not overused. It's kind of it's it's used in exactly the right places, but but when it when it's there, it's it's very effective. And and um, and, I, and and Denny very much shares this, uh, you know. Uh, this approach and it's it's very comes very much from him. I mean, he he has he has a very strong vision about how 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 he, he wants to use music in his films and 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 it's all about placing them placing the music effectively and in a strong way so it speaks in a strong way and uh, and um, um, and it's great and it's great when that happens and 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 but but there are you know. There, it, that doesn't work for every film, you know. I mean, there are there's some some films that that need a different approach, and uh, and uh, you know where where the music is more more in the background in some way, or or, or kind of uh, more um, um, uh, you know it's, it's, you know used used in a, in, a, in, a, in in another way. So so it's you know every every mo every film has its own requirements. You know, every film has its own its own uh, uh, language. Well, let's talk a bit more about that because last year you did a completely different kind of score uh, with the theory of everything, and I'm sure that a lot of people would be surprised that the same man composed both films. Um, so, can you talk a bit more about just like finding those different uh, musical tones? You know, where do where do you start from? Yeah, it's. Um... Uh, I mean, I, that's one of the things I love about about uh, film scoring is that that it's you you get the chance to to you know work with a lot of different ideas, a lot of different uh, uh, moods and themes and and uh, and, uh, uh, and and stories and characters and 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 you know every film you have to dis discover you i think for part of your your job as a film composer is finding the voice of the film and find finding and that's that's often the most hard the hardest part of, of starting a film score is is you know how what does this film sound like what what is the what is the voice of of, of this of this film and uh, and um, and i i really like that kind of uh, um, that aspect of, of film scoring and i think i think in in many ways um, for example, uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's uh, I think it comes with the territory, you know, and and uh, and I, th I think there are certainly aspects of theory of everything, part particularly the, the, there's a few kind of darker uh, cues which are which you could say, you know, are 
are in the same world as 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 prisoners, for example, and and uh, but uh, um, but it's it's um, yeah. I think I think there's always there's always uh, different requirements for 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 every film. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's so striking about this film in particular are all these really majestic shots of the landscape by Roger Deakins and the way that your score works under that you know it's it's almost like a like a prelude to a lot of different scenes uh, can you talk a bit about that um yeah it's um <clears throat> um i mean one one of the um uh, one of the things we discussed uh, with Denis uh, was um, uh, there was this aspect of you know the, the the war music, the war drums, you know this sort of percussive driving aspect, and then then there was also uh, another sensibility which is more kind of melancholic and uh, and sad. Uh, this is sort of with uh, I, I I needed to you know for. Uh, I, 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 there, there was this sort of um, the sadness of the border, the melancholy of the border area, and, and the, the sadness of, of, of you know the, the tragic history of Alejandro, for example, the, the mm. Benicio's character. And so there's this undertone of melancholy and sadness that that uh, was really something that 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 I felt was an important part of the script and an important part of the film. And I think that music. Uh, uh, especially there's a, there's a couple of things there's a theme called desert music which is um, there's another theme called uh, melancholia there's another theme called uh, uh, Alejandro's song and, and the, this music uh, um, is is very much you know about the landscape about the desert about the inner landscapes of the of the characters and 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 this feeling of melancholy of the the sadness of the border the sadness of the the the, the tragic Tragedy of the of the uh, the um, you know illegal immigrants and 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 this sort of and the drug trade and and you know they're they're kind of there's a melancholy to these border areas which is which is which is interesting and I think I think I tried to you know reflect that in the in the in the in the score the sadness of the desert mm -hmm. and you know that's something that really isn't uh, I guess thought of in films like this it's it's rather unique. You know, um, is that one of the things that drew you to it as a composer? Well, I mean, what what drew me to the project was uh, was you know a combination of the script and and Denny as a director. I mean, I, I, I absolutely love uh, the way he works and and his his the atmosphere he he, he creates uh, and uh, the way he works with with. And creates these stories, and, and the way he works with scripts and and with actors, and uh, and I, I knew it would be a very strong uh, project as a as a composer. And he and he also he has a very strong vision as a director, but he also gives his collaborators a lot of freedom and a lot of. There's he really encourages uh, experimentation and and bringing, you know, bringing in ideas that are bold and and extreme, you know, and 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 I really like that. I really I really. That's that's a very um, that's a great creative environment to work in, and uh, so you know, I mean, uh, yeah, working with Denis is, is is one of my favorite things in the world. In the world, I would say. Right. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you. Cheers. Cheers.